Hey, welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for a bit of a re-retro shiz look back at the past for these brand new reissues of the 2003 TMNT figures by Playmates Toys. And first and foremost, of course, we have Donatello. And I'll tell you that it's really fun to see them bring back this version of the Ninja Turtles. You can leave the theme song, though. The card art always stood out to me. It was very cool, especially on the back. You get to see Donnie. You get to see his bros. You get a little bit of a write-up. The whole shebang. You can cut it out, too. But it was just an interesting time because this was our first foray from the original 80s Playmates Toys Turtles to now having something with a little bit more of an edge, something that harkened back to the original Mirage comics. Leonardo... Back in the day when these first came out, he was just very cool. This was my favorite out of the bunch, and he still is. And truth be told, I used to have the entire collection of these figures. And for whatever reason, which I'm really not too upset about, I sold the entire set to someone that really wanted them, to someone that really wanted to enjoy them. And I just thought of it as, sure, I collected them for a little bit, and I'm done. And I typically don't do that. Do I regret it? No, not at all. And I'm happy now because I'll just take these four turtle bros and be on my way. Do I have regrets? No, not at all. I do miss the foot mystics, though, and some of the other foot soldiers in the club. You know what? We'll just leave it at the turtle bros because these were just a lot of fun. And like I said, they're very minimal in the articulation. They come with a lot of accessories for 10 bucks a pop. Depending on where you get it, Walmart, Target might price differentiate just a bit. But here's the barcodes for all of them. And like I said, yes, they are starting to hit Walmart store shelves now. And that's where I grab mine. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Maybe watch out for Shredder. This is a look at the brand new 2023 reissues of the 2003 TMNT figures by Playmates Toys. And if you've managed to get that catchy theme song out of your head by now, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So from all these years to now, here's all four Turtle Bros once again out of the packaging. And I got to say... Yeah, they're pretty much spot on to the originals from what I remember. So we'll kick it off with Donatello. Now, Donnie was always interesting. He came with these extra weapons. You got an axe. You got a sword. Uh, the sword's a little bit bent. But you could pop these onto the end of his bow staff. And I always thought that was just rather unique, right? So you take Donatello. You get him going on either side. And, and you got basically an extendo weapon and I thought that was pretty cool. It still works. And of course, yes, you can use these with any turtle as just normalized weapons, right? And with all the turtle bros, just to save some time, each of them come with two yin and yang ninja stars. They hold them just fine with all the minimal articulation. Keep that in mind. But with Donatello himself, he's just very stylish, right? He's got a little smirk to him. I like the colors. Everything harkens back to the original line, but with some upgrades that we didn't g get to see until around 2003, right? So again, the articulation has not been upgraded. It is 2003 articulation, but that's what gives these Ninja Turtles the charm, right? You're not going crazy. They're reissues of what came before. And you can see on the bottom right there how it's stamped, but he has peg holes on the bottom. Just Overall, pretty nice paint, although I will tell you, if you can go through a couple on the store shelf, make sure you look around the eyes and the bandana and such. Just saying. Now, the bow staff with the weapon storage, that looks nice. It's not too warped or out of place. He holds it just fine. And you can achieve all those traditional Donatello bow swing and staff poses. Now, in moving from the geek squad to then team leader, we have Leonardo with his ninja stars. Don't forget those. And these really cool suction cup ninja weapons, right? And suction cup, they do. You'll have to pry those off. But that's some good old fashioned ingenuity there. And they clip onto his hands and they're just a lot of fun. You can get him going on windows and 
car windows and any type of mirrored surface. Let's just say that they're really well done. They attach nicely. And Leonardo himself, again, with that side smirk right there, right? The blues, the colors. I love the way that this particular turtle looks. And that's thanks to the Playmates Toys sculptor back when, Phil Ramirez. And you can check him out, and I'll have links down in the description below for his work. But the swords, yeah, he's got weapon storage. They're a little bent out of shape, but he holds them nicely, and it just looks really cool. Again, this was definitely a different Leonardo from what we were used to back in the day, but a welcomed version. Now, and moving on to the one with the attitude, he comes with the Ninja Stars, and this weapon accessory sort of deal with a spinny sort of Kevin McAllister vibe to it, right? At the end of Home Alone. He does not come with the string, unfortunately. It's kind of a DIY, which back in the day, yeah, we used to do that all the time with our Ninja Turtles. But in utilizing Mikey's accessory, I'll give you an idea of what it's supposed to do. So it's simply just kind of rocks him to and fro and gets him going sliding all the way down and it totally works if you got string, but Raphael himself, he's pretty darn cool. Now, methinks, from what I can remember, the green, once again, might be a little bit off, and make sure you check the paint on this guy. Mine has little dabs here and there, but for the most part, yeah, that reminds me of Raphael. He's got the squishy front right there. You got the belt tassels. You have weapon storage for his Psy, which looks pretty good. Although keep in mind, because this is 2003 rules, you can't hold it all cool like Raphael does, right? There's no split in the fingers. So it's just traditional style. Psy going up, Psy going down. Nothing in the knees, nothing in the thigh, nothing else in the feet. It's very basic articulation, but it works. Which brings us to Michelangelo with his Ninja Stars. And then this wackadoo Michelangelo contraption, of course, which actually I really like. And it still works. Playmates Toys went back and made it function. So you have this hook, which you hook it on to whichever. You got this really long tethered string, of course. And then basically, as you pull it up and down, Mikey can hold on to the grip and get pulled all around. It's very cool, and it works. Yeah, maybe yours will work a little bit better. Mine seemingly gets to just about the tippity top, and then stops, and you kind of have to pull the cord itself, and yeah, just FYI, kind of gets stuck here and there. Make sure you get yourself a good one. But like I said, Michelangelo holds on, you pull one end, and he zip lines up, kind of like what Raphael does, but it would have been nice if Raphael had the adjoining string to then make him work, right? Mikey looks all fashionable there. But like I said, it's done nicely. It's a different sort of accessory and one that we used to see all the time back in the day with uh, figures like Michelangelo. Michelangelo's looking all cool. He's got that green painted nicely. I think he's the finest one out of the bunch. And then he has weapon storage on the back. As you can see on the back of his shell, how the belts kind of work and you slip the nunchucks inside and into his hands and boom, he got Mikey swinging all kinds of mad chucks right there. And again, the limited articulation is what it is. Maybe one day they'll go back and re-up everything, but they're very cool for what they are. And if you're wondering to see how they scale, from the original Playmates to now these 2003 Turtles, not much difference in the height. You have the Loyal Subjects, which recently came out. You have the NECA Toys cartoon line. You have the NECA Toys movie line. And then you have the Super 7 TMNT Ultimates. So you get a nice smattering of Leonardo uh, with a giant Leonardo god statue in the back that surveys all. Terrifying, right? So you get to see a nice lineup of all the Leos. And I'll tell you this, if you're interested, let's just use the most recent party wagon. Because of the limited articulation, you're not going to really be able to utilize this all too much outside of a display. You can't get the legs to fit in the car seat. You can't get Mikey in the pizza thrower. It's very minimally spaced for the minimal articulation. However, I will say this. It is nice to have these figures on my shelf again. It was a glaring omission from my massive TMNT collection. All the iterations, everything. Part of me looks back and goes, oh, I shouldn't have sold these. But 
someone else got to enjoy them, and that's always okay, right? That's totally okay, because they're going to eventually reissue them, and they've done just that. And again, like I said, I'm very happy to have these back in my collection. They haven't updated anything, but that's a-okay with me. Get yourself some good-looking ones with some good paints, and I think you'll be stoked to have these back on your shelf. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything 2003 TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, the writing was great. The animation was great. And then we got to that whole fast forward season. <laughs> Yikes. So what we do? Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.